I got my cart. Normally you're gonna find all your fencing outside. So we got our post right there. And we got our section of fence over here. So I'm gonna leave my little cart here. I'm gonna grab some of it. Actually, I'm gonna bring the cart with me. Make it easy. So you put the post on the little card here. We're gonna head over and get the fence sections. And I got some trucks. They got some trucks blocking our sections here. All right, we got the six by eight spruces right here. These are stockade pressure treated. Uh, they gotta be taken down. They lock these things up overnight. Got to run in and grab the cement. Pay for these things up front. And then you come out with your receipt. And you can collect your uh, materials. While the guy outside unravels the uh, fence. Or the sections. I'm going to head in and grab the concrete. Thanks a lot. Go with the 60 pound bag per post. That should be fine. Load them up on the cart and then we'll go out and we'll get our sections of fence. All right, I got the Ford bags. Okay. Try to put it on neat. Leave the middle aisle open. We're going to put those fence sections in there. This way it'll be easier to get out to the truck. All right, so we got the four posts. We got three sections of fence, okay? It's a small job, um, but it's a nice little job. And uh, stay tuned because I'll head out to the job site. We're going to take it off the truck. We're going to set up and we'll take it from there. How you doing today? Good. What's going on, kid? You got a lady call This is my man. I got, I got, let me carry this. Right. Yeah, yeah, I did. I'm going to give her an uh, estimate probably oh. later on today. Yeah, nice lady. It was the clock in the shoe. Yeah, yeah, the clock. Yeah, session. yeah, yeah. Oh, she does. Yeah, that's why I said when she called me. I said, no. Get Definitely. I'll take care of it. I'm, I'm going to send her something tonight. Yeah. All right. Take care, buddy. Right, we're here at checkout at the pro desk. Um, how you doing today? I'm actually getting uh, three sections of the stockade out there also. Um, I got a picture of it, if you just give me a minute. All right, so you put your number in. That's associated with your account. All right, and that's pretty much it. You ring it up and you're good to go. All right, so after you put in your phone number, you're gonna put in an address for your job. So it's 41. Okay, we got that. We're all set, man. Yes. Thank you very much. It was a pleasure doing business, and I'll see you next time.
All right, so after you purchase your materials and you pay for your sections of fence, you come outside and you show your receipt, your paid receipt. How you doing, buddy? Here's, Woo! My, here's my receipt. I want to thank you for getting me set up. But by the time I came out here, I'm all done. The employee signs his name off, which is great. And uh, we're good to go. We're going to load this up to the truck and we'll be at the job. All right, so we're ready. All set up on my cart here. We got the sections, we have the posts, we have the concrete. And we're gonna head to the truck and load her up and we'll be at the job very soon. I was gonna say, when you're finished with your, car your cart, your carriage, make sure you bring it back, be considerate. But I gotta tell you, this guy up here, he's on his game. There's no joking around. These guys, they do their job. Great place. Can't wait to come back. Always use one of those tie downs. They're strong to keep this thing on. I'm only going around the corner, so I'm gonna go nice and easy. All right, well, here's the job. We gotta remove this mess, okay? Clear out your space so you have a nice, uh, safe work area. And then we're gonna set our uh, posts in line and we're gonna go from there. All right, we got all that crap out. We're gonna put it here until it's time to load the truck up after the job is completed. Get yourself a nice clean line here. We got a lot of concrete. We got, looks like some center block or foundation there. So the posts aren't gonna go there. You're not gonna get it up in here. So we're going to start with our first post right down here, okay, and we're going to run it straight, straight through. Okay, this is more of not to keep animals in or out, but just to block this side view and keep the neighbor's stuff from coming over and then blowing it into the side here. So we're going to block this off. All right, I got the first post hole done. Normally, if I'm running sections of fence, I would put a line. Okay, I'd put a line on the edge of this right across here. And I'd run it straight to the other end. All right, I'd leave the line up. And then because it's a six by eight, uh, six by eight fence section, you have to dig your holes, obviously, every eight feet. And you want to level this guy up set it in concrete some guys will set this up grab a section screw it to here have the section ready dig the next hole and just follow piece by piece other guys will set all the posts let them sit overnight or so and come back and screw the sections all right but normally with such a short run it's only three sections i can do it by eye so i don't need a, a string or a line okay but normally you would have a line from one end to the other and you would have the line. Let me see if I can demonstrate this. Obviously, when your posts are set level, the line will just touch this side of it all the way down. And you want every post to sit just up against that line, okay? So let me get to digging the other holes. We'll set all these level, and we'll see what we have when we're finished. All right, after you've set your first post, okay, that's in. You want to measure from the outside edge because you're going to bring your section right up to the edge you're not going to share because that's a corner post you want to be eight feet to the next hole so if you look here you got eight feet okay and we're in the middle there so we're going to set the post this post is going to share for both sections so you need half of the end of the section on this post and then the other half to continue down the line here okay so remember eight feet on center from the edge the far edge of the post not in the middle of that one and then you're gonna catch the middle of the post here all right this is what I meant here you want an eight foot right on the center okay so half of this post gets half of that first section and then to the right you'll have the other section to screw into Okay, so it's eight foot on center, and we'll continue to the next post down that way. 
this is one problem you run into you're doing a job and all of a sudden it starts to rain now if I was covered out there I'd finish but I'm gonna give it a few minutes give it like 20 minutes I'm gonna take a break and we're gonna see what happens all right post set okay eight foot on center like we talked about that last post is only 70 inches because we're not going any farther than that and then right here from here to this this section here I'm gonna put in a piece just to block this off so it looks like it's finished from start to finish so I'll be back tomorrow after this sets up and we will put the sections up and you'll see how I put that together all right we're here the next morning it's dried out all the posts are set they're nice and solid okay um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with this end piece we're gonna bring it right to the edge here because it's an end post and then we're gonna come across with a piece this way we're gonna continue to do section after section till we get to the end and we're gonna cut the extra off we're gonna take the extra we're gonna put it in this spot right here all right all right what I meant by the end post you want to be flush here with the first section okay you see this and when you get to your next post this is a line post and you want to share it okay see how you have a space here for the other one to butt up against okay all the way down and you're gonna go to the next line post and then you have a corner post we can go a little bit longer on that corner because we want to just go as far as we can until we hit those rocks okay obviously when you put your first section up you want to put a level on here okay you want to make sure it's level and then you just come off of this section one at a time all right when you're finished sometimes you got to make a custom cut to fit in a location if you have one of these use it it works great all right we're going to take this piece and we're going to fit it into that corner all right that piece is in came out nice little angle there i had to cut foundations a little off on that wall but all in all it came out nice what i'm going to do is just cut the top posts could have cut them first but i'll get the saws all back there or the recip and we'll take care of those tops let's get rid of this garbage we'll throw it on the truck and this is another job finished it looks good all right so that's it have a good day and don't forget to subscribe share um, i appreciate all the new subscribers obviously and uh if there's anything you're looking for or you need some information on, throw a comment at the bottom. I'll see if I could uh, maybe make a video of that. But I appreciate you watching, and we'll catch you on the next one.